What is going on guys, in today's video I'm going to be going over my rare frame collection. Now what makes these frames rare and um, like special I guess is not only the fact that like some of these are one of one or like one of five, it's that they don't make this frame anymore or it's that like it's a special edition type of frame. If you guys end up finding this video interesting or entertaining in any way, be sure to drop a like. Also if you're new, subscribe and turn post notifications on, I post every single day. Um, Sometimes I post videos like this, but most of the time I'm out at the skate park or Reading Street and posting like daily vlog style videos. But if you're new, welcome to the channel. BMX Kin here, and I post every day. BMX stuff, pretty much. Let's get into this. gonna start off with the oldest frame out of these um, this is the premium gutter shark now believe it or not this frame is only three pounds and I think nine ounces it is seriously the lightest frame I've ever had it is the premium gutter shark um, top tube I'm gonna be real with you guys I'm guessing it's like a 20.7 um, when I ordered this frame I was so young that I didn't know anything about bike geometry so I'm not even sure what top tube it is. I'm going to guess maybe 20.5 actually. Maybe 20.7. But this frame is so light. I got this frame when I was like, this is my first ever aftermarket frame actually. My first ever stock frame was a premium solo and it was pretty heavy. When I got this, I was so excited. It was like a dream of mine to even just get this frame. And when I got it, I was so stoked. I used to really love premium. Like it was my favorite company. This frame is really light. I ended up cracking this frame, unfortunately. I actually think I dented it somewhere, too, if I can find the dent. I know I dented it somewhere. Where did I dent this thing at? Pretty small dent, but I actually ended up denting this thing, like, the first day I had it at a skate park, but uh, not too bad of a dent. I ended up cracking the frame right here. I never snapped it, but I did crack it, so I took it off. Um, I didn't want to fall while it cracked. And then I believe there's another crack somewhere around the dropout, but I'm not really going to look for that because it's really hard. But we've got the Gutter Shark logo right here. Um, they discontinued this frame. Uh, I could imagine it was because people were snapping it because it was so light. But I'm not even going to lie, this frame taught me so much because when I started out, I could not lift the bike or do anything. Losing all that like weight from trading to this frame um, really helped me learn a lot of tricks. Actually, helped me 180s, helped me do like 180 pivots flat. Like not like the full three, but like you know what I'm talking about, like the 180 to like tap. Rest of the three, like the sketchy threes. It really just like opened up a lot of doors, just like learning stuff on this frame. It's really psyched on it. And then, yeah, this frame, three pounds, it's 12 ounces or nine ounces, not too sure, but it is so light. Like, if I pick these ones up, this one just feels like a feather, and these ones just feel like tanks. This frame is literally so light. Discontinue. I think they made the last one in 2012. Definitely a frame to remember. It literally is. Look how. I just tap like that and it sounds so hollow. Definitely a frame to remember. Moving on to the freed frame. Now this frame is a whole lot heavier than that one, but it is one of the strongest frames I've ever ridden. Unfortunately, this company freed uh, is no longer around. They have decided to close down the company and yeah, it's no longer a thing. But it was a frame to remember because I learned a lot of my Biggest tricks on this frame. Let's see, we got a Feeble Life sticker, got a BMX skin sticker, Freedom sticker, a Don't Suck sticker, and then I liked how this frame they'd come with the badge right here. Wait to see it. Uh, let's focus. Yeah, it had like a freed badge on it, and it was so sick in my opinion. Really sick. It's actually a freed sticker on the ground. But yeah, that's the freed frame. I ended up learning flares. I did a triple bar on this frame. I ended up learning a lot of things on this one, and uh. It was a really sick frame. Funny story though, the way I ended up meeting the owner of this company was through Woodward. I was a camper, and he was also a camper too. And he was in my cabin, and then I remember him just talking about how he's going to come back as a visiting pro next year. And I was just like interested in what he had to say. And he was talking about how he's starting his own company, Freed. And he ended up doing it, and it, it ran for a couple years I think three or four years. Pretty solid. They had Demarcus Paul on the team. He's a really well known rider now. It was cool to see him the next year and he actually came back as a visiting pro and had his own bike company started and it was really sick. I ended up talking to him. He uh, 
he ended up hitting me up. I got a really good deal on the frame. He sent me a bunch of like stickers, shirt, and just a bunch of stuff. And it was really cool of him. I doubt he's watching this, but Andrew Smith, good job on what you did. Unfortunately, your company had to close down, but it happens. I mean, he for him as like just a kid to start a company like that and just have it even work out at all, just impressive. So shout out to him for doing that. I ended up getting this one in a 20.5. Uh, yeah, this one was a heavy one, but I never cracked it, and I never dented it, and it's a very strong frame. So I'm going to put that over here. Definitely one of the strongest frames I've ever ridden before. Next on the list is this Kevin Peraza prototype. This is a prototype frame, guys. This frame, there are only five of. There are only five. And how I obtained this frame was through the Mongoose Jam in 2015. I was lucky enough to be one of the five uh, amateurs that got picked to be in the Mongoose Chain. The other four were Chase Paza, Bryce Tryon, Adrian Evans, uh, Jamal Nelson. What, did I already name them all? Oh yeah, and me. I ended up getting this prototype Kevin Peraza Mongoose frame. We were the only ones to have it, and it was so cool. And the Mongoose Jam was such a great experience, and it was just something unreal. It was definitely an experience, and I'm just so happy like that I got to be a part of it. This frame I ended up getting a 20.7. Uh, it was a prototype, so there were some problems with it. I ended up cracking it on the seat tube. Is it on the side? Yeah, I ended up cracking it. I ended up cracking it right here, unfortunately. But I ended up riding it for like three, four months. But it was actually my first ever time I had a murdered out bike. I've never had all black bike. It was funny too. Every time I'd be at the skate park, people ask me what kind of bike I have, and I tell them mongoose, and they would not believe me. But yep, it's a mongoose. And I'm lucky enough to be one of the five that had this prototype frame. And I am just super grateful I got to be a part of that experience. And I got to ride one of these frames. So let's put that over here. Oh, Let's put that right there. Hopefully nothing broke. And I want to do that purple one last. But you guys know this frame. This is the Daniel Sandoval um, Cali Sky Blue uh, limited edition colorway. A lot of you are probably thinking this isn't really a rare frame. But it is a special edition frame. For two reasons why I think this is a special frame to me. One, Daniel Sandoval does not ride for them anymore. Two, the Cali Blue was kind of like a special colorway. And I really enjoyed this frame. Out of all the totals I've ridden, this was by far the strongest one. Um, I never cracked this frame and I rode a lot of street with it. I did dent the bottom of it just a little bit, but that was my fault. I ran into a rail. But for a total, it held up amazing in the streets. I got this one in a 20.5. I just love the color. I told myself if I ever become a millionaire, uh, I don't know if you guys can see the sparkle on it, I will wrap my first like expensive car in this exact color because I fell in love with this color. It was such a beautiful frame when I got it. Like It's still beautiful now, but right when I got it, it was like the most prettiest bike I've ever ridden in my life. But yeah, that one's short and simple because the next one is actually a very, very rare frame, this one right here. Now, this frame is the most rare out of every frame I've ever ridden because it is one of one. There is not an exact replica of this exact frame because I got this from the Mongoose Jam the second year I did it, and that was probably one of the best experiences and highlights of my BMX life. I don't want to toot my own horn here, but I believe I am the only person to ever be in the Mongoose Jam as a camper twice. And the second year I did Mongoose Jam, Basically, all the five campers got their own custom frame made by Mike Laird. Like, I got to pick whatever geometry I wanted. I got to pick the top tube. I picked the seat tube. I picked the, the rear end length. I picked the angles. I picked the color. I got to pick everything. The only thing I did not get to pick was the bridge design. But that's because Mongoose paid for this frame. So they were the ones who got to choose that, which I don't really mind very much. But I love the color on it. It's like a sparkly purple. They call it Helena Purple. Because uh, I think Mike Laird's daughter's name is Helena and he named the colorway after her. So this frame is one of one. Now that year of the Mongoose Sham was the best experience ever because because I got put on Pat Casey's team. So as I was doing the AM qualifier, he picked me. Like I was one of the first AMs to be selected, so I was super hyped on that. Put a lot of stress off of me because I was like stressed I was not gonna get put on because I did it the year before. I was thinking like, oh, they're not gonna pick me. I already did it last year. Pat Casey found something in me and he picked me and grabbed me pretty quick and I was super hyped on that. Also, we ended up winning the entire Mongoose Jam, so I got first. Mongoose paid for me to stay in a whole nother week at camp, which I was super stoked about. They paid for this frame for me and I got the experience to be put on a winning team in Mongoose Jam. 
After that year, I told myself that I'm not going to do Mongoose Jam anymore. This year, I actually went to Pennsylvania where they had the Mongoose Jam at the Woodward East, but I did not even try to compete because I told myself, like, I mean, I've already, I've already done it twice, and one of the years I won, so it's like, I don't need to do it anymore. I'm going to give someone else, like, a kid another chance to, like, be part and experience what I experienced and that was really cool but this frame is one of one the top tube angle is actually 20.69 I did that as a joke but uh, I ended up liking the geometry I don't even know what Laird thought when he saw that but the top tube is a 20.69 the seat tube is a crap I think it's like a 7 point I want to say it's a 7.2 or a 7.5 the rear end is 13 Top tube angle is 75.5, and uh, bottom bracket height is, uh, I don't even know the bottom bracket height. I'm just going off the top of my head here what I remember, but if you actually want to go watch the video where I unbox this frame, I have the geometry in depth there. I ended up only riding it for about three months because I did not want to break it because this is the only layered frame I'll ever really get because I'd probably not want to buy one because they're very expensive. But it's probably one of the nicest frames I've ever ridden, and I will cherish this forever. And here's my new frame. Back to normal riding tomorrow. If you guys are new to the channel, like I said earlier, uh, go check out some of my other videos. And if you do enjoy those, subscribe. I make videos every single day about BMX, everything BMX, all BMX related. So I'm going to close the video out now. I don't think I have anything else to say except for the fact that you should drop a like. I don't know. We'll see you guys tomorrow if you want to continue this adventure of the BMXkin. Become a BMXkin and subscribe and turn post notifications on. And I think I'm talking too much now, so I'll see you guys tomorrow.